I will appeal here to the knowledge of chemistry. There was a great Sufi whom the narrow-minded mullah said that he is in the we have narrow-minded mullahs nowadays also. They are a big source of trouble. This great Sufi, Shaykh al-Akbar Mahayuddin ibn al-Arabi of Spain, he wrote the Qasida of the soul, Qasida to ruh It's a long Qasida. There he says that he took flights to Mars, to moon, to the sun, so on and so forth, in outer space. And he describes, and now kindly look up his book and look up the findings of those who have gone on the moon. And you will find that they are telling. Mind you, he was writing this centuries ago. Then he says that I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that now I want to go into the atom. Muslim scientists knew the, what atom was. He says that first of all I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I want to uh, make a survey, I want to travel in these regions which are beyond the earth. So he says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was kind to me and I went there and I saw this. All right. Then he says that I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I want to travel inside the atom. <laughs> you will not understand it. May I say here, of course I will come to this topic, that this tasawwuf is the story of the third dimension of man. The tasawwuf is the story of the third dimension of man. Man has three dimensions. Body, mind and soul. This third dimension of man or the soul is spaceless and timeless. It is non-material. It, it does not enjoy any space. It even transcends time. It is something different from your body. So don't be amazed at this when, uh, when Mahayuddin Ibn al Ibn, uh, uh, Arabi says, do not be amazed at this, that he says, I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that now I want to travel inside the atom. And he says that I found that in the atom there are seven cyclotrons, a thing which has been discovered by the scientists in 1954. And this man who was not a scientist, he is speaking this and this book is there, this thing is there in his book written centuries ago, when the, peop when the world had no idea what atom is, when the world had no idea, wo idea what cyclotrons are, when the world had no idea of the chemical constitution of the atom. But I, I would not take this route, you see, otherwise time will fly and I won't be able to uh, complete what I've got to say.